Did some really cool work with Braden today, working on the catch. As you can see here, before we worked on a stroke, he's kind of dropping the arm low. So we worked on engaging the catch closer to the surface, which you'll see in just a minute. Okay, here's the same video, but in slow-mo this time. This will help you really see how the arms were dropping down before they were catching. So we want to extend out into the catch and then curve the catch. Okay, here we go after he did some work on his catch. Extending closer to the surface, curving the catch, getting the fingertips down earlier, keeping the elbow high. Okay, coming back the other way, again, extending out closer to the surface, engaging the catch. We want to curve the arm, almost like the arm is wrapping over a ball. So the palm is pressing back through the hips. Okay, working with Kian today on his freestyle as well, as you can see here, really not extending into the catch, being pretty much arms dominated without a whole lot of rotation. He's really short stroke in it. So we worked on extending and counting strokes. All right, here we go. 13 strokes as opposed to 18 strokes. Extending into the catch, rotating the body, being body driven instead of arms driven. Much more efficient, really holding the water. Nice work. Here's Sarah doing some work today on short axis turns, getting off the wall really fast, staying low, pivoting her body, driving the head back really quickly. Good work. Okay, let's watch this in slow-mo. One of the most important things you can do is focus on driving your head straight back away from the wall rather than lifting it up. Notice how it goes straight back toward the other end of the pool. No time wasted driving it up and then back down. Ready, go. 